Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. My job tonight is going to do some extemporaneous speech. That is the project that I have to do tonight. We do a lot of extemporaneous or impromptu speeches here, which are from one minute to two minutes. And then we have to prepare that speech in 30 seconds. The difference between that speech and the one that I'm going to do today, my speech is going to be based on something that I more or less know or feel familiar with. But when you are in a big uh, conglomeration of people, then you have to elaborate more. And mostly, those people are going to know the subjects that you are going to speak about. Tonight, I selected about six to eight questions, and I gave them to my evaluator. He's going to uh, pick up one of those, and I'm going to elaborate on that question. My evaluator is Andy Newman. Please. Sure, Question number five. Talk to us about culture. Culture. I have to think hard when I'm going to talk about culture. But culture is a word that we use a lot. Many times we don't know the meaning of it. We don't know how to apply in our lives. What culture means to me probably means different to you, but or different to you, different to you, different from people who come from different countries, or maybe different for people who are in the same environment, and the word that we keep using constantly probably has different meanings. I will summarize culture as a set of rules that a group of civilized people bring to the table. This set of rules in a culture explain what your behavior is due to the environment and the place that you were born or probably the environment that you were raised into and you developed and elaborate after you are grown up and continue your life. By saying that, I can say now that perhaps culture could be how I was raised, how I used to conduct my life on a day-to-day -day basis. What did I eat for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner? What did I study in the school? And all of this culture is in the same environment that I was in. So I could say that my culture is similar to my brothers, my siblings, or the people that I went to school with, or the people that I went to college with. Because perhaps I grew up in the same environment, I went to school to the same school all the time, I have the same group of friends throughout my growing ages. Now, that can be a part of culture. But culture is also what you inherit from different activities in different areas of life. I can be a cultured person when I travel and I go to different places and I take their environment and I sink into it and I get involved in what that other culture or that other set of rules or that other ways of living are. So I am enculturizing myself. I am bringing to myself different set of rules that I didn't have in myself, that I see in other people, and I like and I absorb. And now I am enculturizing myself. I am getting richer with the culture from other people. Now, that culture could be from different set of rules from one country, another region, or another set of values in a different family. But there are other kinds of cultures. What happens when you go to a concert and you like music? When you go to a concert and you like music, 
you are paying attention at who is performing that concert, what kind of music they are performing, what is the rhythm of that music that is making you go, making you take that step, and sometimes not just attend the concert, sometimes go on the stage and perform the concert yourself. That is another kind of culture that you are bringing from the outside world into yourself. You are enculturizing yourself. What happens when you go to an art gallery and start seeing a nice statue, a nice picture? If you love that, that environment, or if you learn how to love that environment, you start practicing those things, and you are getting richer and richer with that culture. Sometimes you get so excited when you are in those places that you are getting yourself so involved that you become a sculpture yourself. Let me give you an example. I went one time to a gallery, and I was so involved in whatever I was watching. And I'm reading, and looking, and standing, and looking, and admiring a statue that it was a square thing standing there, no images, nothing, but I was mesmerized. Because I was thinking, what was going through the mind of this artist? while doing that. So I'm standing like that, looking to see if I find something different. Looking up and down. And I slowly move like that. And a person who was the same, with the same concentration behind me, when I moved, he thought that I was a statue that I was forming. <laughs> and he went to grab me and hold me. So that is what happened to the brain of a person who is getting involved in something that he or she really <laughs> enjoys and, like, and likes. You get involved, you get enculturized, you get to the point where this is ecstasy to you. That to me, fellow Toastmasters, is the meaning of the word culture. <laughs>